Well before the doors opened, people lined up in a community that could really use it. This is such a bright spot. So I have to come and take my own. If I'm alive, I have to do it. Among the first here too, the Souza family. 64-year-old Anna works as a nanny of four. My mom's so much happy because come early. Early and not soon enough. The northwest neighborhood of Lawrence Heights is a COVID hotspot, a lower income area with a higher number of essential workers, many who live with several family members in close quarters, and why the case was made to prioritize them for vaccines. They've been out on the front lines, working in grocery stores, working in TTC, doing a lot of different jobs that kept this city going. And I think it's really important that we say, we care about you. In the next phase of Ontario's vaccine rollout, vulnerable areas like this one are among those next in line. This is a pilot project that will start by serving people 60 and up. But as supply increases, the hope is that anyone within the area's postal code will be eligible for a shot. In Thorncliffe Park, where COVID rates have been the highest in the city, tens of thousands of residents will soon be within walking distance of a new vaccination site that opens Wednesday. This entire floor of a former Target store is almost ready. Community leaders partnered with a nearby hospital to transform the space. We're trying to avoid any sort of lineup outside. Bringing the vaccine close is critical. We want to remove the barriers. And so rather than having people travel, 15 kilometers, we wanted to make sure that it was within their own community. Back in Lawrence Heights, Souza's had her shot, her granddaughter by her side to document it. It's good because I wouldn't want anyone in my family to like get COVID. So it just makes me feel good. <laughs> it is a shot of hope. That means they can all breathe a little easier. And Joanna is outside that future vaccine site in Thorncliffe Park. So, Joanna, it's now on the city's official list of immunization sites, and I'm curious as to why that detail is so critical. It's critical, Adrian, because it means more vaccine supply for the residents here and for the site here. Originally, the supply was going to come only from the local hospital that helped this community, community advocate and get this site up and running. Now it means if it's on that official list, it can also access the city of Toronto's vaccine supply. Now, if that vaccine supply is reliable, they could administer up to 10,000 doses here a day. That would get the people here immunized fairly quickly, as well as people in the surrounding areas. That would be fantastic. Ioanna, thank you.